Hi everyone, I have received various questions related, related to Microsoft Certified Trainer uh, through WhatsApp, through LinkedIn and Instagram. I just wanted to clarify all these doubts and queries. So I have consolidated the questions here. So we'll be looking at like what is the mandatory certification? What is the instructional skill? What are the certifications for proving instructional skill? How to proceed with experience as a trainer or teaching experience and how to apply for Microsoft Certified Trainer? Let us go step by step. What is the mandatory certification? See, as you all know, this is like a Microsoft certified trainer. So we should be able to deliver, we should be expertise in any one of the Microsoft related technology. And since it is a trainer, it is not anything related to the education. So if it is like a Microsoft certified educator, then it will be related to a Microsoft Word, Microsoft uh, PowerPoint like that we have to uh, we have to be skilled with but since it is a microsoft certified right now so we should be skilled in any one of the uh, technology which is offered to us by microsoft for example you sh if you are a cloud expert then you should learn any one of these assured thing like assure data uh, assure um, um, uh, developer associate okay like you can <clears throat> you can be an assure data scientist associate if you are a data if your domain is a data science then you can become assure data science associate and assure network engineer if, if you are related to network related technology and uh, if you are a data analyst then you can probably proceed with assure microsoft certified power bi data analyst associate <clears throat> So you should be aware of any one of these certifications, okay? So this is what the question for the very first question, that is what is the important and mandatory certification for that? You should be a Microsoft certified uh, certified person on any one of these technology, okay? So this is what mandatory certification which you should have, okay? Apart from this, Microsoft is offering various other technology, but that is not considered for the certified trainer. Okay, only any one of these things. Got it? I hope you are clear now. This is mandatory certification. So let us proceed to the next one. What is an instructional skill? So since you are going to become a certified trainer, so as a trainer, you should have, uh, you should possess some specific skills like uh, presentation, how to uh, talk to someone, communication, and uh, uh, feedback related to feedback, how to get, when to get feedback and what type of feedback you should uh, receive and uh, how to s check whether the trainees are really satisfied through your training. So everything we should be, we should be aware of all these things. That is what instructional skill. Okay. So for that, uh, either you, either that is anyone. Okay. Either you should have any one of these certification. Okay or else you should have experience at least one year of experience as a teacher or a trainer as a professor that is you should have at least one year of experience in training field okay you should know how to face the audience you should know how to deal with the audience and everything fine so if you uh, have any experience then directly you don't want to proceed with these certification okay only the thing you have to do is what the microsoft related certification and if you have passed in this certification then you can probably proceed to enroll to apply for the microsoft certified trainer mm -hmm. okay i hope you are clear either one of these certification to prove your instructional skill you have to again uh, prepare for this any one of the exam and then try that or else you should have at least one year of instructional experience that is to training in the training experience got it so the next one is what are the certifications for proving instructional skills so this is what the certification which is accredited by microsoft itself you cannot do any certifications okay uh, so any one of this like com t i a c t t plus plus so if you want to know about this just simply copy this and paste it in the um, google so here they'll be showing you what is the certification is all about click there and you will come to know about this complete information related to the certification like what is the preparation and uh, uh, what you have to do okay so <clears throat> so here you can see this is a technical a com tia certified technical trainer certification as for the instructors okay so to st get the standard so here you can find what are all the guidelines okay classroom trainer preparation like what uh, what are the syllabus you will be following and what is the price of the examination everything everything you will come to know through this 
okay so this is the uh, this is uh, how you can you can just check the uh, check the syllabus and uh, check the complete information about it okay likewise you can just go and check here essential educate trainer internal microsoft certification you should also check whether um, <clears throat> whether you can uh, you are eligible to do this because a uh, few uh, thing no they will have some certain uh, set of okay this is what microsoft certified educator okay this is a separate uh, one i can also explain this to you if you want to become a microsoft certified educator okay uh, if you want to know about this just leave me a message uh, leave me a comment i'll be guiding you through this microsoft certified educator so if you are a microsoft certified educator then definitely you don't want to do any one of these certificate you can directly uh, go ahead in the proceeding like or you can apply for that if you want to know completely about these certifications that is you want to uh, check this certification what is the cost and what how many days it will take what is the syllabus please leave a comment because this is a faq session i cannot explain everything in detail so this is what the uh, options for you in the instructional certifications okay i hope i have answered the first three questions next one how to proceed with experience as a trainer or teaching experience and how to apply for microsoft certified trainer yes so <clears throat> uh, if if you want to apply for microsoft certification tra certified trainer then you have an option you have a link called uh, microsoft certified enrollment tool so here you have to apply online you should have the outlook uh, mail id that is you should have the microsoft mail id it will be easy for you to apply and then we have to register here okay so we have to register here i'll tell you the detail step to uh, sign in and enroll what is the option they'll be asking everything in a separate video so that will be easy for you to understand because i should not mess up with that but the uh, thing is what here you have to apply okay once you click it will take you through the sign in okay if you have the outlook mail id then you can directly proceed with or else you have to create one create one and do it i'll also tell you how to create one and do it in a another video so i hope i have answered most of the questions so i am just summarizing what is the mandatory certification the mandatory certification is what microsoft related technology certifications like azure or data scientist or data analyst or devops or something like that you have to do which is listed by the microsoft itself and uh, instructional skill is was the teaching skill or the training skill which you should possess you should show some um experience either if you have experience you can apply through the experience or else you have to write the certification what are the certifications for proving instructional skill that also we have showed i have showed you like what is the certifications which you have for proving your instructional skills these are all the certification and how to proceed with experience as a trainer or teaching experience this it will be asked while you enroll while you click that enrollment tool it will be asked so that time you have to that is it, they will be asking you someone's reference okay if you are a, if you have been a trainer or if you have been a teacher or if you have trained something you definitely you will have some reference right your manager or your peer someone will be there or, or that you, that mail id you have to mention that uh, for that mail id they will be sending you they will be sending them uh, that is uh, uh, that is for a cross reference they'll be sending them the confirmation mail if they confirm that you are a trainer you have been a trainer for one year or more than one year then definitely you will be getting the uh, you, your application will be approved okay that process we will see completely and how to proceed uh, yeah how to apply for microsoft certified trainer so you have to apply here in the microsoft certified mct enrollment tool okay here you have mct enrollment tool through this you have to log in with your you have to create a, a outlook account to log in or else you can directly if you have an outlook account you can directly apply log in and it will take you through a certain steps if you have more doubts related to that please leave a comment in youtube or else you can reach me out through instagram i have given the complete information about the social uh, media where i have related to i have just uh, um, uh, posted in the description and also you can communicate through the um, uh, youtube as well in the instagram or else in the linkedin so i am ready to help you if you have become a microsoft certified trainer through these videos i'll be very happy thank you take care bye bye